Mighty Midwest, what's going on? I'm coming here with a tip on how to shop for a home when you're on piece rate. Okay, most lenders are going to want 18 months of job history on piece rate. 18 months, that's right, I know it sucks. However, it is what it is. I'm just here to report the bad news. And so when you come on in, I'm thinking, man, I was making 600 a week at X, Y, and Z job. Now I'm over here at blank factory making, you know, 1500 to 2000 a week. That's all fine and dandy. However, the lenders are going to want more uh, history on that job. So basically, they're looking at it. Um, they're looking at you on paper. They're not looking at you as a person and the hard work that you put in, which again, uh, really stinks, but it is what it is. Just here to report the truth. Uh, you're making eight bucks an hour. Basically, then you're getting this bonus, and uh, the lenders uh, have these people with their uh, magnifying glasses looking at you behind the scenes, thinking, wow, I don't know if this bonus is going to come in or not. So that's all great if it's going to come in, but you know, for a home, it's not the retail Walmart, Wally World system. Um, there is a lot of documenting that goes on, a lot of paperwork you got to put in place need to show the time on the job. Um, another thing that affects that, another thing that affects that is uh, hopping from a piece rate job to piece rate job. I know a lot of you guys are able, um, that are talented out there in the world uh, with, with the trades that you do for the trailer factories, you're able to jump um, from one job to the next when you get better pay. Um, that's fine as long as there's no job gap of more than a week or two. Uh, if we have like a month or so that you're off and um, uh, maybe got locked up, just kidding, um, maybe you went on vacation, who knows, um, but you know what I'm saying, um, just don't put a big uh, time frame of a job gap in there. If you're going to switch jobs, go from one job to the next. Try not to uh, switch jobs um, more than once uh, within a year time frame, okay? Um, so it just, uh, the lenders are going to be really sketchy on you if they're looking, man, this person, you know, they're, they're hopping jobs quite a bit. They're going to think, boy, I don't know if I want to take a chance on this because they're going to hop jobs again. And what if that other place lays off, you know, once you're four months in? So it's not advised to hop jobs, especially in the piece rate industry. So again, I'm looking at 18 months typically. Now, the cool thing is with the setup that I have, is that a lot of times I can buy some time with this situation. And what I mean by that, let's say the 18 months will be up um, a year and a half from now. Well, I don't need to start uh, the process in a year and a half. I can start the process in probably about halfway into it. And the reason why, because I have lenders who will give me conditional pre-approvals. And then with that conditional pre-approval, I can uh, go on and start the house. Um, and then have it done by the time you got your 18 months in. A lot of times I can help you with a down payment as low as $2,000 uh, based on income and household size. For example, a household of five or, uh, or more people, if the gross household income, which we've got to count everybody's income, regardless of who's on the loan, uh, if, that, if that gross household income is under $114,000 for a household of five or more, a lot of times we can get in with a low down payment. If the gross household income uh, or if the household size is four people or less, typically we need to be in that 78,000 range or under to get the low down payment of 2000 to $2,500. The reason the down payment slash deposit may be $500 more is because if we got a check for a septic system, we're gonna have to pay a soil scientist uh, $500 you're going to have to pay them to see what kind of septic we have to put in. And um, that's just money out the door to check for that. So that's kind of how that process works. Um, so I'm trying to think of anything else might come to mind. Um, but yeah, it's not, not the Walmart world when you're out shopping for a house. We do have to document things. need at least two years tax returns. Um, there is a way around all this if you just started peach rate. If you have a big enough down payment, I have some lenders that will um, set you up with what's called a committee meeting where they have the founders of their uh, bank um, discuss your situation and they may go, on, go ahead and approve you. 
uh, based on a shorter time of piece rate. However, you're going to need a good fifteen to twenty thousand dollars down typically. So it's going to need a nice uh, chunk of down payment. But a lot of times, I can get people approved with a uh, lower uh, deposit of right around two thousand dollars. So if you got any questions, I'll put my contact information below. Reach out to me, and we can definitely help you get a house. Over and out. Yeah, have a great.